We are talking about living your life to the fullest. I'm going to rattle your cage today. I'm going to stir up some sediment inside your soul. I want to help you to light your fire. So the question I have for you today is, are you living your life to the fullest? Now, your life to the fullest is going to look different to somebody else's life to the fullest. So obviously you have to think about what would it look like for me personally to be living my life to the fullest. And you can't kid yourself into believing you're living your life to the fullest if you're not. The only person you'll be cheating if you answer that question, yes, and that's not true, the only person you'll be cheating is yourself. right? So it's no difference to me if you're living your life to the fullest. It doesn't make any difference to anybody else. If you stay stuck, if you stay small, if you stay owned by your fears, if you let your dreams die, the person who suffers is you. You don't deserve to suffer that way. Your dreams are not meant to die that way. And so really it's about saying, no one's coming to save me, right? No one else is going to make this life the fullest life for me. I've got to do it for myself. And really, my job is to help you see what stands in the way of you doing that and to show you that you can bust straight through those things that are stopping you living your life to the fullest. Here is the deal. Everybody's got blocks. Everybody has fears. Everybody. Some people let those blocks and let those fears and let those question marks and let those excuses and let those circumstances stop them. And some people don't. And that is the only difference. So I want you to start to think about what is life to the fullest for you? What does it look like? What, what are your dreams? What are your desires? What are the things you've always wanted to do? What are the things you wish you could do? What would you look like if you were flying at your highest? What would your experience of life be if you lived to the fullest? How would you freaking feel? if you were living your life to the fullest? What is it that aches inside your soul? What is it that you wake up in the morning and you wish could be your true reality? You have to tap into that. So many people don't let themselves have permission to even go there and think that. You want to go there, you want to tap into it, you want to light that fire within you. And then you want to say to yourself, what's stopping me? What am I waiting for? List it out. What are all the things that are stopping me? What are the fears that I've got? What are the excuses that I use? If you're here on the pinchmeliving.com website with me, you've got a whole blog below with questions and triggers and things that are going to help you go through an exercise to bust through. If you're here on social media watching this on YouTube or any other social media platform, you need to jump over to pinchmeliving.com with the link provided. There's a whole heap of resources and trigger questions to actually help you take this from inspiration into activation. It's not enough to feel a little bit inspired. You've got to take that and do something with it. So I want you to go through those exercises and do it for yourself. And you know what? I've been there. So I'll give you an example. There was a point in my life where I knew exactly what living life to the fullest would be for me. And it sat on the shelf like a dream gathering dust. And I had all these reasons why I wasn't living life to the fullest because I had this whole plan of I've got to do this first and I've got to save this much money first and I've got to get to this age before it's realistic that I can do that. And I need this skill and this information and this support before I can do that. And I'll do it when I grow up and shock horror. I came to the realization one day that I was growing up and what was I waiting for? And I literally remember the day. It was like 7.55 in the morning or something like that. And I was clomping down the steps to work in my high heels with my suit on to do a job, which was fine, but wasn't my dream. Living in a city, which was fine, but which was not my dream. Living my life and lifestyle in a way that was fine, but was not my dream, which was relatively satisfying, but did not feel purposeful. And I had walked down these steps many, many times, dreaming about what life would be like when my life was lived to the fullest. And then one day I was clomping down those steps in my high heels and facing another day ahead of not living my life to the fullest. And I just remember saying to myself, what am I waiting for? And my brain went, I'm waiting for, you know, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get a little bit more money behind me or I'll, I'll get this done before I do that and then I'll, I need to figure out this before I do anything and it just goes on and on and on and I went you know what 
to hell with this. I am not letting any more of my life pass me by. And I went and made a dramatic choice. I did change my job and I changed my life that day. I decided I'm going to move, I'm going to change my career. I changed, literally activated in that moment. I went to work and I booked a meeting and I had a conversation with my employer and I said, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. I have to move. I need to change my job. I need to be able to work in a different way. I need to be able to work from home. I have got to start making my life happen in the way that I know and I've been waiting and I can't wait any longer. And you know what? That day I let my soul speak. I just went, no more of this, no more of these excuses, no more of this waiting, 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 because I could wait and wait and wait, and 10 years will go by. And if I have to wait 10 years, like I almost want to cry talking about it, if I have to wait 10 years before I can feel meaningful and satisfied and like I'm living my life to the fullest, no, I cannot do that. <laughs> and so I want to shake you and I want to wake you and I want to help you tap into your own version of waking up. Now here is the thing, the final thing I'll say about this, when we talk about living your life to the fullest and not waiting, it does not mean dramatic life changes. It does not mean jumping out of one career into another. It doesn't mean moving locations. It doesn't mean doing what I did and, you know, changing everything and traveling the world. For some people it is. For other people it's not. Mainly living life to the fullest is what are the choices that you're making in the small moments of your daily life? Because the small choices you make in the moments of your daily life are what add up to whether you live life fully or not. So when a door opens, do you say yes to an opportunity or do you hesitate and say no? When you sense your intuition telling you to do something, do you pay attention and act on it or do you not? When you're about to do something and you know it doesn't serve you and your intuition is saying stop that, do you listen or do you ignore it? When you have a little inspiration come into your mind, do you stop and put it down on paper and think, what might I do about this? Or do you just carry on doing mundane things that don't add any value to your life and get lost in the day-to-day -day humdrum because you haven't honoured that inspiration that came to you? What are the things that you choose in the small moments of your daily life which are making the difference to whether you're fully living your life or not? And not the fullest life experience compared to somebody else's version of what a meaningful and satisfying and inspired life looks like, but what it is for you. For you, it might be living peacefully in the countryside, doing something completely different to someone else who's living this full-on, busy, high-profile, high-flying life in a city. It's totally different for every person. But you have a fullest life version. You're either in it now or you're not. If you're not, there's a gap between where you can be, where you want to be, where your soul is aching to be, and where you are now. And all I want you to ask yourself is, what am I waiting for? And then I want you to go through and use all the trigger questions and exercises that I've provided for you that go with this video on pinchmeliving.com. If you're not on the website, jump over there now and start to do something about it. Activate, activate, activate. It's great to be inspired. It's great to be empowered. It's great to have new ideas. That's really cool, but you've got to do something with it. You've got to take knowledge and wisdom and make it real in your life. And there is no better time than right now. Like, right now. <laughs> so I hope this has rattled your cage a little bit and made you think about living your life to the fullest. And you're about to find out if you go through the exercise, there's absolutely nothing to wait for. You've got everything you need right now. Life is waiting for you. So what are you going to do about it? I hope this has been helpful and I'm looking forward to seeing you really soon for more daily inspiration with me.